morning guys, I've just got back from swimming and I really wanted to film today. Um, I just felt like it. I really like days when I wake up and I'm like, yeah, I can film today. <laughs> Florrie is next to me here and she's very sad because I just confiscated the fuzzy microphone off her. So I'm having to record without a fuzzy microphone um, and just a microphone. But anyway, I need to dry my hair because it's wet from swimming. So I'm going to use my Dyson Air Wrap because my hair's sort of dry um, already. Well, it's getting there. I'm probably just going to use the barrel brush um, attachment. And then I'll pop a little bit of makeup on. <laughs> what is it? I'm brushing my hair. Can I brush your hair? No way. <laughs> hair is now dry. I'm going to pop my fringe to the side so that I can do a little bit of makeup. I'm going to add a little bit of the Rose Ink Tinted Serum and I'm in the shade 10. I'm just using the brush that they sent me and it comes out in little bubbles and then they sort of burst and go into pigment. And it's super nice and really light coverage. Um, and I find I like to use this and then use concealer in the areas I really want covering. I was sent the Boing concealer by Benefit the other day and I actually quite like it. This is a very pale shade, this one, um, which I swear I didn't used to do. This is the shade 0 0.5, I think this is the lightest shade. I'm just going to use the same brush to blend it in because I'm lazy. <laughs> But I actually really like this concealer. I was, I think I sent it a long time ago and I liked the consistency of it but it was way too dark. But now, it's the perfect shade and it might even be a bit too light. But it's perfect for, especially like underneath my eyes. And then I like to add some on the side of my cheeks, like at the bottom of my jaw, and around my nose and a little bit on my forehead. And then today I'm feeling very lazy so I'm just going to use my face palette from Benefit which has everything I need and I'm just going to whack some bronzer on and then the very red blush. I love a good amount of blush. <laughs> so I like just pack it on. Eyebrows, I'm just using my trusty Benefit Browsings. I went and picked up more of these in Vista Village because there's a shop, a Benefit shop in Vista Village now. So I managed to get two in a two pack discounted, which is great. And I'm in the shade three in this. I did try 2.75, which is like the more orangey shade. But I didn't like it, it was it just wasn't quite right for me. I liked the sort of browniness of this. And then the trusty Refi brow sculpt to set these brows into place. I'm going to do a really quick smoky eye with this palette from Bobbi Brown. This was their holiday palette. And I'm literally just going to put one shade across my eye. And then I'll put like a dark brown close to my eye. A little bit of mascara. This is the Gucci mascara, which I love. It's just such a good like mixture of lengthening, volumizing, and just oh, it's so nice. Just love it. I feel like it makes my lashes look really full and fluttery. The lips. I'm just going to line them with the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheats in Pillow Talk. And then add a little bit of Pillow Talk lipstick. That's it for the makeup today. Quite a full face for me for just 
pottering around the house. But yeah, those are some of the products that I've been using on the reg. My fringe is getting way too long to be worn as a just straight fringe. It's crazy how quickly they grow. I'm undecided whether I'm going to grow it out or cut it back to be a fringe again. Who knows? Okay, I'm going to tie my hair up. But I tie it quite tightly in a ponytail with a big scrunchie because I find it helps keep the hair there and it's not very painful. And then I sort of just backcomb it a little bit, roughen it up and I put it into a bun and then I'll just use little pins to pin it down. And then you get a really nice sort of effortless look because there's no um, hair bands in the way. Okay, now I'm ready to go and tackle the day. Um, I have a focaccia, a sourdough focaccia that I started last night and that needs to have the next stage done to it now. So I'm going to go downstairs and do that now. And then I need to do some gardening, which I've kind of been putting off for a bit. Um, I bought a load of seeds recently and I now need to sow them in their little propagator things um, so we can do that outside in a bit as well. So a few nice things to do today and then later on I need to post some Instagram stuff um, because I've made some more bags and I'm going to launch those soon. So lots to do. Ooh. So I've been finding a very simple recipe for this which I just keep on my phone. Simple sourdough focaccia. I will link it down below because it is honestly so simple. Even I can do it. <laughs> um, right, when it doubles, drizzle with olive oil. Okay, I need to find a pan to put it in. And then the good old Jamie Oliver tip. Lovely little bit of olive oil. So I had to drizzle top of the focaccia with olive oil and then it says to pull the sides in and then I need to put some olive oil in this tray So now that is there, it takes another five to six hours to rise and then I can stretch it and put the little dimples in it, which is my favourite part. I'm going to try and get a table out of here, um, no idea which key it is. <laughs> No table in there that's easy to get to. Let's try the next shed.
I can hear you, but I can't see you. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Good girl. Seeds have been sown, so now all in their little boxes. Their lids. Go. Okay, it's been six hours with this sitting in the pan. I'm just going to dip my fingers in the olive oil and then start adding the dimples. They never look how I think they're going to look. <laughs> and then I'm going to sprinkle a bit of rosemary on top. And then I'm also going to add a little bit of Morden salt on the top. Just sprinkle that over. Give it a nice bit of saltiness. It. And then that goes in for 25 minutes at 2.20. Gloria's watching out the window, so you'll see a little head poking out every now and then. I am currently making sure all of my stock is in the right sort of amount on my website and it's about six minutes until I put them live which is exciting and then I'll go downstairs and show you what they look like in a minute and then I need to make sure I get my socials ready to post at the same time and I recently actually paid for a planning app that I've been using forever but I finally bit the bullet and paid for it so that I could have both of my accounts on it and that is called that app is called feed preview and I just find it really helpful Ida bag navy collection now available to shop at rosecola.com woohoo Rosie. Da -da -da -da. done that okay those are now up so I can Shut that down and we can post this on Instagram. I'm going to take Flory for a nice walk at Blenheim later because she doesn't love walking around here unless it's at the field, which I don't want to say too loudly because she likes that word. <laughs> um, She's just a very stubborn walker. She really does not like walking very much, do you? A bit like your mummy. Just posted the post. And now I actually need to take some pictures because I just did a um, Instagram makeup video. So I'm not sure if I like how it turned out. Which keeps happening when I film these little videos now. I'm just so fussy and I feel like my makeup skills are weaning. <laughs> it's actually a really nice day outside and the blossom is out so I think it's going to be a nice walk today. Let me show you the blossom. The sun's gone away now but 
was shining on the blossom it just looks so beautiful time to take some pictures for Instagram Here are all of my new bags lined up, ready to be shipped off to you guys. I made quite a limited number of these um, just because I wasn't sure how they'd sell. I love this super dark navy one. So now I'm going to add my little labels. Hello. <whistles> Birdie noises. <whistles> Should we go to Blenheim? You want to go to Blenheim? Huh? Do you really? Do you really? <laughs> I'm going to go and take this dog on a nice walk in the sunshine. Um, if you guys are interested in purchasing one of the bags or just having a look at them on my website then I will leave the link down below and yeah I hope you guys have enjoyed the video and I will see you all in my next one. Bye!